Today I'm going to show you how to make coconut butter. I need to make some for our donut dip as well as using it for our colored sprinkles at our bakery. So let's get started. All you need is one ingredient and it comes together super easy and will save you so much money from buying coconut manna at the grocery store for almost $20 a jar. Plus this way you can use organic coconut. I like to use You Picked Us Kitted Coconut and I can link to that below if you like. But all you need is unsweetened dried coconut. We're using two cups here. So all you're gonna do is add your unsweetened coconut to a high speed blender or a food processor and we're gonna blend it until smooth. And what you're gonna notice is that first your coconut is gonna move freely in the blender and then as the oils start to release, it's gonna start to stick in your blender. You're gonna wanna pause it every now and then and scrape your sides. You're gonna have to do this a couple of times until it's released enough oil that it's gonna move freely at this point and you can let it blend until it's super nice and smooth, at which point you're just gonna stop and you're gonna pour it into a jar to save it. So make sure you're using dried coconut for this. Fresh coconut will not become butter. It will end up more of a yogurt consistency. Also a tip, if you find you're processing it for a really long time and the oil is not releasing, it's not turning to butter, you can add a little bit of coconut oil to help it. And your batch size definitely impacts how well it blends. We use two cups and you can see that it only makes about three quarters of a cup. So feel free to scale up and it will make your blending process a lot smoother. And that's it guys. We use this mainly at our bakery for our vanilla donut dip, like I said, or to make our vanilla sprinkles that we make from scratch. But it's also delicious just to smear on toast for breakfast or drizzle over just about anything like cookies or cinnamon buns as icing. Enjoy guys.